Creating subtitles for an entire video in DaVinci Resolve, especially in the free version, can be frustrating. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your life a whole lot easier when working with captions in DaVinci Resolve. So I can go over to Timeline and then click on Create Subtitles from Audio, and I'm going to have the ability to generate automatic subtitles from audio. But this is a studio version feature, and that's why I'm going to show you the easiest method that works regardless of whatever DaVinci Resolve version you're on. And that is a completely free and one-click setup plugin called AutoSobs by Tom Maroney. Now, once that's installed, go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. Like I said, it doesn't matter which version. Just go over to Workspace at the top and then down to Scripts. And now you're going to see AutoSob right here. Now, before we actually generate the subtitles inside DaVinci, we're just going to do one thing, which is create a text plus template inside DaVinci Resolve because we want to be able to select that template right here using the auto sub plugin. And that's going to control what the subtitles would actually look like. So I'm just going to go ahead and close auto subs. And then I'm going to go up here to effects and then down to titles. And then I'm going to drag a text plus title and put it on my timeline. Now I'm going to click on my text plus title and go to the inspector tab. First thing I'm going to do is go over to settings and then under position, I'm going to move it down a little bit because this is a subtitle. Now I'm just going to find Montserrat right here. I'm going to click on it and then change it to black italic. I'm just going to change the color over to blue. So I'm going to drag the text plus title over here to the media pool and leave it. And now we're going to have it as a template over here. So I can just go ahead and delete the one on my timeline. And then I can go under subtitle template and select my text plus preset that we created just now. You can adjust everything to your liking, but I'm just going to go ahead and click on start process to generate those subtitles. And now you can see in DaVinci Resolve, we have our subtitles right here, and these are text plus subtitles. You can also animate it right here. So if I go over to the beginning, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, go a few frames forward and place a keyframe on the zoom. And then I'm going to go to the beginning of this text plus graphic, and then I'm going to reduce the zoom value to zero so it can actually scale up. Now, if we want to apply that animation to the other titles that we have on our timeline, all we got to do is right click on this first title, go ahead and click copy, and then select the rest text plus titles, right click on them and go to paste attributes. So I just click on the zoom property and then I'm going to go ahead and click apply. Now, if I give this a play, motion blur in Adobe After Effects is just about turning on a switch. You can see we have an animation for all the titles. 